This is the first time I'm doing a swim with a reticulated python. This is a natural behaviour for them because it's really good for them to get that nice enrichment, but also to show off this amazing species to our Australia Zoo guests. Are you nervous? Oh, definitely a little bit, yeah. I mean, you want everything to go perfectly right when everyone's watching. And you know they've got one of the strongest feeding responses of any snake. Yeah. yeah. So watch yeah. out. <laughs> and when no. they constrict, it's very difficult to get them off, but it is. enjoy your experience. Yes. <laughs> Just about to get her out. Hello, hello. How's it going? How are you doing? Gosh, she's growing. Looks pretty happy. So that's always kind of the most crucial point with, with a big snake like this is, is the, the, first, the first interaction, the first touch. So you want to be really nice and gentle and gradually get her used to being handled. I'll get her off you when she <laughs> yeah. grabs you. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen in front of 5,000 people. Yeah, as long as you don't smell like a rabbit or a rat. If something goes a little bit amiss, I want to be able to get to him and, and get glory off him. Because the thing about reticulated pythons, when they bite, they normally bite and hang on. Thank you sincerely for being here. It's an exciting day because Robert's giving Gloria the opportunity to swim. It's so exciting for Robert because it's something new again. He's never swum with a snake, and for some reason I feel like if I'm there, everything will be fine. I don't know why, but mothers do that. Wes is helping Robert, so should she make the mistake of a food response, and grab Robert and constrict him, then Wes will help to make sure Robert lives. You're just gonna pull her out, Robert? Yeah, you're a bit, you're a bit tense. You'll pull him over if you don't no, she, she'll be fine, she'll be all good. Yeah, I'm just gonna get just a little bit tense up there. There we go. I'm gonna put her over my shoulders. If you could grab that front end. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. All right. Yep, let's just grab her head. All right, I got that back in there. And then I'll just kind of let her constrict. All right. When you pick them up, they're using every muscle in their body. It's like hydraulics. So it's a real challenge keeping them in one spot when they're moving around so much. We all have our fingers and toes crossed that it goes to plan and that Gloria really enjoys the water. OK, you ready? Here we go. Like all reticulated pythons, she is a meat eater. So if you look at the size of her body, that's about the size of the animal that she would try to eat. So I'd have to say this is a risk for Robert because a reticulated python can be very overpowering. Good job, mate. Good boy. If she were to have a defense response and grab Robert, that's why we've got the team here to be able to help unravel her and keep him safe. I know. It's different, isn't it? You've got so many people moving around, standing their feet, shifting in their chairs, and he can sense vibration really well, even in the water. So you really have to be very, very careful Yeah, it's up to you now. Hey, good boy. Good boy, what do you reckon? There you go. Good. You're all right. Good. He's gonna... It's so good to see them in the water. I mean, they spend a lot of their time swimming and in the wild, so it's great for her to be able to stretch out and swim. Wes is younger than me and has been here longer than me. He was Steve's best friend and knows so much about snakes, so it's really nice that he and Robert can do this together. Dad always loved snakes. 
but he never got to swim with a reticulated python. Snakes aren't just good at crawling along the ground. Some of them, like Gloria, can also swim. So she gets to explore underwater, and it feels really good. And in the wild, they would seek out the water to help them shed their skin. So the reticulated python grows to be the longest snake, and they'll live to be about 40 years old. It's a pretty amazing experience to be diving down underwater and just watching this snake moving through like poetry in motion. It's absolutely magical. You guys, thank you so much. Good job, you guys. Really a great day. Gloria's happy, her health is always paramount and we were able to keep her happy, stress-free and, and get her going, getting that great mental and physical exercise. Thank you, baby snake. But also, we educated so many people about how beautiful reticulated pythons are. Holy guacamole, that was cool. Now well I'm gonna give you a hug because I'm all wet. No. Ah. <laughs> Good job, that guys. Good, that was fantastic. That was sure. Good wrangling, mate. I think Perfection. everyone enjoyed it too. Mission success. Gloria had a great time. The crowd loved it, of course, seeing such an incredible animal move in such a different way that they've probably never seen before. And Robert comes out safe, and um, you know, he's an A1 Wrangler, so he did a great job. Crikey, that was amazing. Click here to watch more clips. Click here to see more from Animal Planet. And for full episodes of your favourite shows, click here to go to Animal Planet Go.